Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for March the 25th, 2020. How's everyone doing today? Let's go ahead and get ourselves up on Discord here. Do, 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 do. There we are. If you're joining us, we are in the open mic channel today. <clears throat> a friendly reminder for everyone, CBS Access, um, excuse me, CBS All Access uh, is doing a free month subscription for everyone from today through the 23rd. All you have to do is go to CBS All Access. You do have to create a subscription and account, but you get a free month. And obviously, if you only want to sit there and binge watch Picard, well, take the free month, put a sticky note, attach it to your computer, and remember to uh, take off the service on the 23rd of April. That way you won't accidentally forget it. I suppose we could remember or remind everyone to do that as well. Let me send out a tweet so everybody knows we are out here. like a Twitter. It's what's happening. I don't think so. As I said, let's say nice, or as I didn't say, but as I wrote, it's um, it's March the freaking twenty fifth, and there's frost every place. Not the not the good kind of frost, like greater frost from the fleet, but the icky kind of frost that's gonna make my feet get cold if I don't dress for it. Ugh. At least I have my coffee. So anyway, I've been checking out my I've been checking out my tunes. Ha 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 ha. No. I've been looking at my tunes trying to organize this since there's a lot of gameplay going on, which is really fun. I'm getting a chance to catch up on some old tunes that never finished it up. I currently have 11 tunes, three of which have done all the episodes. It means eight haven't. We've had these tunes for a long time. So I'm focusing on getting one tune through all the missions. But at the same time, after chatting with some people last night who keep, you know, spreadsheets to track everything, and I just use a sheet of paper, which is very convenient, but it's what I use, <clears throat> if it's even if it's old school. Um, I realize if I just play one tune all the time, I get really sick of playing that one tune, so I'm trying to let my other tunes do stuff based on Dilithium and EC. This tune, for example, has 580 e uh, Dilithium at the moment. Let's check that out. Uh, roughly 580, 520, 530. Must have used some. Oh, I did use some yesterday. So I'm making sure she gets the first crack at some of the dilithium. Which is why she's going to do battle with the binary stars. Tings and torpedoes. Torpedoes? Hey, we're on the air just so you know that, so don't talk dirty. <laughs> Are you doing this morning, Ed? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Indeed. How's your cold? 
Uh, way too active. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm, I'm sure it's not allergies or something? Absolutely. Ugh. Oh, I get terrible allergies at this time of the year. It's just warm enough for everything to start flowering. But if you go out without a coat, you get cold. It's not quite warm enough to go out without a coat. Good morning, WC. Oops, let's jump back into that. Ooh, and Susan Ray Olson is here. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Ed. I had a composition notebook by my desk, yes, for a long time, and I just switched out to a notepad because I also have a composition book for everything like the fleet. I have a composition book for my new business. I have a composition book for this, that, and the other, and all of a sudden I'm trying to page through them and can't find anything. So I went to just a sheet of paper because what the heck, that's easy. Yeah, um, yesterday I found a notebook oh. that started years ago when I had my World of Warcraft notes. Wow. And, um, well, it lasted for about nine years. Wow. And um, so uh, approximately two years ago when Play Long and Prosper characters have been made. Even Miss Money Piggy got their notes there. But wow. it all starts wow. with a Gnome Magician. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I know yeah. my notebooks are old because I bought them when they were on sale. And my son and I were shopping for something for our old school. And we haven't been in the old school for a couple of years now. So, yeah, my notebooks are old, but... Most of them are only about a quarter filled because I had too many notebooks with too much stuff here, there, and everywhere. Mm. Yeah, I just have the notebook. Greetings and torpedoes? That's one way to do it. Yeah. Hey, WC, I, uh, I know you're having a bit of internet lag, but last night we were working on something, so I finished off your Starbase and Colony project. So these should be cooked if you want to put anything new in there. I'm sure people would be happy to do that. Look we, what we did. Now give us your stuff. Yes, give us your stuff. Give us your stuff. Oh, guess what I got for my uh, difficult um, endeavor today? Uh, 3,000, uh, gold press platinum. No, that I could live with. I have three advanced or elite Lucari TFOs. Reroll! Reroll. Yeah, man, not doing that one. Not doing that. There's only four Lucari TFOs, none of which I enjoy, and doing them on advanced, ugh. Let's see what we get. Defeat Borg on the ground, 60 of them. Pfft, easy peasy. Deal phaser damage in space. Eh. Destroy 10 Voth ships. Eh. And defeat Borg on the ground. Someone was saying there's a uh, patrol that has Voth ships. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure. One of the Delta Quad. Uh, oh, quad that, that would be a lot more fun. Let's see, let's jump into those patrols really quick. Uh, it's all system. It's not Argala, that's Kazon. Kinbar is the hierarchy. Aftermath doesn't say. Kelsid doesn't say. Oh, Kelsid's the Vod War, so is Gone Dark. Bring on the Weak is Borg. Unity is Borg. But it doesn't say it's Borg uh, against Borg two. is cooperative. So, um, it may be that both are attacking Borg and uh, you in those Borg thing patrols. Yeah, there's I, three, just, three I, I should really make a guide on those. That would be awesome. I should too, because, you know, I, I actually don't have anything to do lately. <laughs> Yeah, I want to update I the endeavors. I, I have um, <clears throat> uh, three Narendra builds. I'm. I want to uh, at least create kind of blueprints from. And um, 
yes. Um, the day uh, my gone scientists uh, scientists became reasonable and went back to school, essentially um, reskilling. Why and um, and stuff, of course. Uh, yeah, just because and because it's an ultimate, it does not mean that it's the. Uh, uh, that it's cool it's from those yeah science ultimates are uh, me <laughs> me good morning abda how are you doing today speaking of me good morning <laughs> how are the roos the magpies and the buddies hey oh he's so happy <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just downwind. Did you get enough sleep, Pi? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. We were on chatting about the Armada oh. until yeah, in the morning. I don't know if you saw my email to you, Ed, but it's. We need to talk about Armadas at some point, but that is fleet chat, and we can talk in specifics. But lots of fun stuff with everybody being back in the game. There are new fleets being developed, and I think it might be a great time to shuffle up the Armada. <clears throat> Jason, you must be partially European with a graphing spiral notebook. The last person I knew who had one of those was my sister's ex. And he carried it with him when he went to the gym, because that's what he... He kept track of everything oh. he was doing, but he eventually wound up creating an insurance company, not an insurance company, but working with European insurance companies to check out the gyms to make sure they met the qualifications needed for um, insurance certification for the people. You know, you get a discount on your insurance if you go to the gym. Well, they wanted to make sure the gyms were legit and offered proper programs. So he always had his little graphing notebook with him. Wow. Mm. Heck of a nice guy, too. Still stay in touch with him. It was just more than note that he had a sparring notebook. That's like, wow. Yeah. Yep. But he kept track of everything. What he was doing, yeah. all his food down to the gram. This was a guy who took his workouts seriously. <sighs> Mine is go to gym, not go to gym. It's a simple analog checklist. Wow, I have to I have to go to Nimbus today, I see. Ooh, how exciting. Or, or Lucara. It would most work, yeah. I have to do Battle at the Binary Stars. Would anybody like to join me for a little B-A-T-B-S? A B-A-T-B B-A-T-B to hip to Will do. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second to relog. I woke up at 4 and I thought I should get up and do this and get my 20 hour clock reset so I can maximize my dilithium harvesting. And then there's that part of me that went you, you know, you probably have enough to lithium that if you don't get it maxed out, you're still okay. But this all ends on Thursday, so this all ends tomorrow. Today is like the 25th, right? I'm not losing my mind on that one. Um, 25th, today, yeah. it's supposed to be Wednesday. Okay, so this ends tomorrow. Yeah. Much as I enjoy some of this, I'm kind of tired of Battle of the Binary Stars. There we go. <coughs> so, Abdel, with so many people coming back into the game, um, a lot of the fleets that have been inactive are picking up steam but it's really showing where the armadas have dead space what uh is a worldwide phenomenon uh got that uh, same here on in germany with the internet being weird absolutely no internet problems oh good <clears throat> of course um amazingly with this tweets about how uh, gamers will uh, res will now be the nemesis of the internet, and uh, uh, they should um, well uh, restrict 
themselves, not binge playing cause they mang the, uh, the poor internet to just consider a single a single high res stream is valid about uh, twenty Star Trek online gamers in traffic wise. But nobody knows. It's the gamers that now put the internet at the brink of whatever. <clears throat> hey, we were here first. We, the basement dwelling nerds who are less likely to get corona because we don't have a social life and therefore don't need to social distance ourselves, uh, we should get better. party. Oh, speaking we of nerds. social distancing, mm -hmm. I need to put up today's uh, corona meme. Oh, good. That would be great. WC, do you want to join us for a little. Uh... Battle of the Binary Stars. R and R. A little R and R. Yeah, for the last ten years, getting onto the internet and getting away from everything that's out there in real life has been my solace sometimes. Because you know, for a long time, I wasn't very social on the internet until what about a year ago when I started doing Discord and this. Speaking of this being a year. I think we've been doing a little over a year now. Um, I Never have go. a two terabyte external hard drive. With all the videos we've been doing, I now have only uh, 181 gig free. There we go, Mom. Okay. There's yeah. Busy Mom. Busy Mom, yes. Let me go take a look at this. Let's see. Where did you put it under? Uh... Show your memes. Show your memes. Thank you. Memes, memes, memes. <laughs> yes, if you haven't seen it yet, jump over to uh, Discord for the strike group and look at Pi's memes on the corona. This is very good. I have a... I, I just see I, I haven't... But that, that is awesome. I will share that with the red shirts. That one's very good, yes. Pi, do you want to join us for a little uh, BATBS? Yes, okay. I was just writing some stuff. Okay, that's fine. I'll send you an invitation. I, I know where you live. I'm a moderator on another channel, and we yesterday we discovered that a person is trolling the uh, the channel by creating a almost identical account and oh, dark yeah. profile pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Darkthorn spelled with a C, right? No, actually, this guy had an O in his name. Uh huh. So the person created an account with a with the <laughs> number zero instead. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I keep... oh, I'm standing. I'm standing next to a lizard skin. Ooh. Is everybody ready? We. Oui. We. Oui, oui. Yeah, I'm standing next to Captain Budget. Yeah. 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 I have queued us. Do you guys have flashy green lights? Yes, yes. we have okay. green alert. And the problem is that that person has a partnership with... Uh... Hey, I've set it up in easy. Is that okay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, Plubber. I didn't realize you wanted to do it in the challenging mode. <clears throat> I don't have the ship. I just want my freaking dilithium. So there's nothing this weekend, or is this the uh, Tholian Red Alert weekend? Mm, let me see. This mm. is the. Uh, this is gonna be the, uh, the Tholian. Tholian Red Alert. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> wow. I need more coffee. I even haven't. I even haven't had time to create coffee because when I woke up, I saw your tweet. <laughs> I was just like, Damn it, I always slept. Uh, yeah. Good morning, Starbright. How are you? <clears throat> hey, has anybody seen Beardy lately? No. I haven't either. Nope. I know he said he might have some internet issues for a couple of weeks due to things at the house physically needing to be done, but still hoping to see him. Just checking up on everyone, making sure everybody's okay. Come in peace, shoot to kill, shoot to kill, shoot to kill. Don't trust the Klingons. Don't trust them. Oh, they did. I don't trust the Klingons. They killed my son. 
They did what? I don't trust the Klingons. They killed my son. Star Trek. Bastards. Oh, like Star Trek Six. Uh, you remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And to quote DT. Yeah. After we kill these, and then. And then. Ah, more. Well, of course. Yeah, that's the way it goes. You would think. Oh, there's much... a guy over there that isn't dead. Let me go help him. <laughs> so we have this thing that we do when you need to hurt somebody in a closed situation, uh -huh. but you don't want to look like the bad guy. You cough and... on him. Pardon? You cough on him. Yeah, well, you can't do that now. But you basically knock him down, grab him exactly the wrong way, and attempt to help him up. Going, oh, you poor man, you must have stumbled and fallen. Down, fell down. As you're attempting to break his arm, lifting him up. It's one of those here. Let me help you. Uh. Let me help you die, Mr. Klingon. It's one of the nice things about being a little old lady like me when you. Or attempting to help somebody up to their feet and they're screaming in pain. People don't assume you're the one causing the pain. This is not how to keep social distancing. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, there are uh, more than I... ten people gathered. Uh, here we see immediate and exemplary punishment at work. We should keep away from that gravity well. I went to get my lottery ticket last night and the store has a little sign up suggesting that everybody keeps a six foot distance from one another. And they have little tiny squares that are taped out on the ground where you're supposed to stand and stay there until well, it's your turn. Over here, like when you're standing in the queue for, uh, for getting in to pay for your groceries, they've mm -hmm. done that. They've done the same thing here. Yeah, Walmart's done that same thing. Really? Yeah. And in some stores, they actually have hand sanitizers before you enter the premises. Well, that's actually kind of common here. They've had that for years, so that's not anything new. I did notice yeah, that it's basically... Pardon? Pardon? That's been since the SARS outbreak, I think. Yeah, at least. Okay. I did notice, though, it's kind of under lock and key now, so nobody can steal it, because there's been a run on hand sanitizer. Over here, people just go into the ERs and hospitals and, and, steal, and it. steal it. Yeah, that's the same thing. Silly yeah. ones. Yeah. Especially um, as at home, um, just wash your hands and you are good. Didn't yeah. everybody wash their hands before this? Apparently not. Uh, not maybe someone else's hands hand for, um, yes, um, Ferengi. Stuff. Though now the come and gone saying if you scratch my back I scratch yours is a little bit outdated. <laughs> you scratch my back I'll scratch yours with a 10 foot pole. 6 foot pole, excuse me. No, 10 foot would work. Oh yeah, 10 foot would. On damage on ground, yawn. Well, that's easy. And oh, apparently I had enough phaser damage in space. That's fine. I'm going to one of them. I'm going over to the north one. Oops, that's three of us up there. Which one are you heading to, that guy? Uh, I can't see who it is at the moment. It's me, but but the opposite. You're at Clark, right? Yeah, I'm at. I'm together with it. Okay, so you guys yeah. got Clark. We've got three of us at Jaeger. <clears throat> and me and Ed are just standing, uh, just parked next to each other, and just pew pew.
Maybe I should uh, put out my carriers. But that would be a really good out. idea. <clears throat> oh, we got eyes. We're nothing if not efficient. Mark it. Good morning. Okay. I Good think we morning. got it. Good morning. Good morning. I know I should be asleep, but I'm You not. should be asleep. You haven't been you haven't been at, at bed since I left? Um I've been up for twenty six and a half hours. Apparently. Yeah, you know that sleep helps with uh, improving your immune system? Yeah, but I literally have nothing testing it, so... Okay. <laughs> um... Who needs an immune system when all you do today is just sitting inside? Yeah. Right, like, I live in my basement. Like, I go upstairs, I take a shower, I might go to sleep. <coughs> okay. Uh I cook in the kitchen. Other than that, I'm in the basement behind my keyboards. Yeah, I've kind of... And the, and the radiation from the monitors. That's how he gets his tan. Oh. Yeah, and that's how to keep yourself safe. <laughs> Self-radiation in the morning. Yep. <laughs> Self-radiation the outside. Use alcohol to sanitize the inside. I'm all good. I'm it's all the yellow and sanitizers right? to keep yourself clean on the inside? No, that's called wine. Oh no, um, I use like whiskey or... Oh no, that's excellent. That is great use of alcohol to keep yourself pure. Yeah. yeah. Unsullied by all those little germs. Like, the girlfriend went, like, when this all happened, she went shopping on the way home and said, Oh, I went and got this and this and this and this. And went, oh yeah, I went out and stocked up too. She's like, where'd you go? There's not that many places for the walking distance. Oh, I hit Walgreens for some snack food and I hit Belmont Party Supply for... Um, eight bottles of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you got how much? Yeah, I might have dropped 80 bucks at the liquor store. We're good. Unfortunately, the alcohol that I really like just went to over $150 a bottle, so... Oh, God, what do you normally like? I like Lagavulin. Mm. That's good. Um, see, the thing is, running off all my health stuff, uh... My stomach and digestive system got used to hospital food. Yeah. Because I was in the hospital a third to half the time between age zero and seven. Uh. So now, like, strong liquor is great, but I have to mix it with something. Mm -hmm. And so it really doesn't matter for me getting anything mid to high shelf. Because I'm gonna mix it with something. Oh yeah, absolutely. It and is. if I'm gonna mix it with something, I'll just find the right flavor to mix it with, and I'm good. So I tend to buy bottom shelf in bulk, and then mix it with soda or whatever. And of course, by the second or third or fourth drink, I'm the amount of soda going into the drink is yeah, less the and the less and the less. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can confirm, uh, this also seems to be currently a worldwide phenomenon. Um, Tips is on the mission, spent his whole, whole current time that lasts for uh, two or three weeks uh, by uh, order of uh, job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody to the office and be drunk all time. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, well, in the US, in most states, when they classify their generic classification of essential things, liquor stores are on the list. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Which, which means permission to be self <coughs> to hit essential businesses means that it is perfectly viable when I leave my home to go to the liquor store and come back home. <laughs> and that is great. <laughs> It's an essential service. I had to go. I had to. What do you want me to do? Is it just me or is it Vaughn like roboting? 
You're should roboting just... a little bit too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's from Discord entirely. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm doing... getting it from everybody, so. Well, if it starts to get worse, I'll just change the server settings on the Discord to put it away. Okay. Uh, Susan mentioned they go to public washrooms, use the toilet, then leave without washing their hands, plus they touch the door handle, which is, yeah, one of the main things that's disgusting. At the place that I used to work before, I decided to brilliantly quit my job a week before this all hit, so therefore don't get any unemployment. Duh, God, that was not thinking. But who knew? Um, they actually have signs up in the regular bathrooms. It's not a shared bathroom, it's a private one. Everybody's, you know, everybody uses it, but... You know, it's not stalls or anything, but there's signs up showing you how to wash your hands and more interesting, how to get paper towels out of the paper towel dispenser without touching it. And then the same thing on the door handle. And that's been there for almost two years now that I'm aware of. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this whole thing, you know, with people doing the elbow touch for a greeting or, you know, covering their hand when they open the door to yeah. things. The is... appropriate greeting should be the Vulcan greeting. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> duh. <laughs> All right. What did you just put up? Oh, Pi's putting up tons of stuff today. Avoiding so Okay. Oh, this one's from Ed. All right, Ed, let's see what you got. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Very good, Ed. <laughs> and what does Pi have for us? <laughs> Ted, Don't play it on stream. Oh, sorry. I will have to watch that later. Yeah. But it's more just the name of the song. Ah. Cool Corona with Nice Device. I will look at that later then. That was less than 15 seconds, right? Yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah, that was 6 seconds. We're good. We're safe. Mm. Hui oh hui. Well, they got one thing done and managed to get all my phaser damage done, so that's a nice start to my day. Yay. Yay. Yeah, I just. I just don't worry about doing ground endeavors. It's just meh. I like ground endeavors, but that's me. Well, I got into SDO for the space. Most people aspect did. Aspect of it, you know. Most like, people. Like I don't did. mind ground, but it doesn't come close to any of the other ground-based combat games I play. Okay, I can and see that. And it just <clears throat> a little, oh, come on. Well, it's actually quite funny because if you compare it to Star Trek Online, they actually, they have more ground than actually space. Really? They hardly have any space, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, but I'm not changing. Well, I guess Everybody. most of the Star Trek missions are away missions on ground, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because changing from ship to ship isn't very exciting sometimes, and all space battle isn't exciting when you're watching it. I mean, it can be if it's filmed right and the focus is correct. I don't disagree with that, but the, for the most part, a lot of it's just repetition. Oh, the same stuff I must online. admit, the storyline in Star Wars Online is amazing. Oh, I've been toying around with joining Star Wars Online, but I, I don't want to feel traitorous. <laughs> I don't think any of us would argue or tell you you're a bad person. We would think it, know, but we would I, never say it to I, your face. I know, I know you play like I know you play other unrealistic games like Counter Strike. I Minecraft. don't play Counter Strike. Didn't you do uh, it um, like some time back? I did, did Counter Strike because it was with another streamer. Ah, uh, okay. And when a almost grandmotherly like figure, sixty one year old gamer who's a blast to play any game with, says, Hey, do you want to tag along for this? I'm like, well I should be streaming, but sure, we'll swap over to that, no problem, let's go. You know? Mm. It's like it's great. I spent most of last night relearning 
Generation Zero because they did a major update, which changed a lot of the in-game menus. And she sent me a message before, before she went to bed. I was like, oh, the stream's going to be canceled for Tuesday because they did this update for Gen Zero, and I can't make heads or tails of changes, and I can't do anything, and I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, oh, no, no, it's okay. I got this. That's so how I got on. I learned all the differences. I got, uh, I ran the game with her this morning before the stream. Um, I walked her through all the changes. You got to do this. You got to do it this way. This has changed. This has changed. But these are good changes. We're irritated with these, but these are the good changes. And come streaming time this evening around 7 30, 8 o'clock, she was really good. She was kicking ass. <laughs> And it's with her, it's a matter of having somebody who will do the initial legwork and then have the patience of walking her through it because she just can't keep up with the changes that fast. Yeah, I understand that. Um, and like she's all manner of, oh, thank you. And I don't know what I can do to repay you. And is there, if there's anything you need, if she's on, you know, retirement disability and, fixed income and everything else. Like, no, no, you don't understand. I like helping people. Mm -hmm. You know? Give me a situation where I can step up, help somebody, make their day genuinely better, and because of it, they can spread more cheer to other people. Cool. I'm game. I'm there all day long. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's one of the uh, good things I uh, experience here. Um, oh, well, yeah. every week I could, I, I, I should say, every week someone figures out how to make someone else even more happy. Yeah. Like, when mom got me that uh, Herc ship from the Libby store a while ago, that made my day. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And and that was like a direct result because I made her day with however many gifts sounds like I did at the time or something like that. Because um, I know you ended up getting a, a decent chunk of the gift subs I did back in December or something. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so it's like I help her out. She's thrilled. The community gets thrilled because there's a bunch of people that suddenly are subbed to, you know, mm -hmm. the consortium, and I happened to get a ship out of it. I wasn't aiming for a ship, but hey, it happened. Well, it, you know, it's a matter of fun. It doesn't right. really hurt. Right. And and you've got a stupid amount of Lily crystals, so... Um, there was no streamer around the same time where he, he noticed that people were giving gift streams back and forth in December. And he's like, you know what? Just for shiggles, um, the person of the, uh, uh, the person who by January 7th has the most gift subs, I will get them any Luby ship they want. Well, I had already planned to give him a lot of gift subs, because he helped me get affiliate when I started streaming back in September. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, all right, cool. And I dumped the gift subs. He was speechless for like three minutes. Wow. And everybody in chat was like, well, there goes my chance to get that ship. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, oh, you just had the money. Like, no, I'm. And half the chat's like, no, he's on fixed income. He shouldn't be doing this. But it's the holidays, whatever. And I told him on chat, because I was in voice chat, like, I am to help with you guys. I told him, look, I was going to give you gift subs anyway. And prior to hitting the button, you announced, hey, whoever hits this amount gets a ship. And I thought about it. I thought about not hitting that button. <laughs> But I did anyway. <laughs> oh, I spent far too much money in December. I, I can't allow myself to do that again. 
Uh, that was way too much. Well, shall we do another or something? Who has something another? that we need to get done today? <clears throat> um... Um, can we do counterpoint? Yeah. I don't see why yeah, not. Sure. Let me that switch tunes there. All right. Let me switch tunes to something <clears throat> a little more maneuverable. Because I'm trying to build up my uh, main engineer who's flying this Dix Dreadnought. So I want to do a Terran build. Okay. So. And I'm working on like the last three pieces between both the ship shield whatever and the weapon console weapon uh, sets. And I've only got like three consoles left. Well, if you'd like to join us, please stick an X in the chat box or let me know in Discord. <laughs> Is Here, that enough corny, of the next? Corny, 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 corny. I have to invite him 20 times now. <laughs> Only nine. No, that's more than nine. That's like uh, 11. Have you noticed Gorns on Nimbus, they have homing rocks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Uh, they have even long range homing rocks. When yeah. you take the transporter to the Paradise Bar and the rock finds you there, mm -hmm. that's gone technology. <laughs> Once, okay, once, they threw it at me, I beamed up to somebody's bridge, and I still got hit with the thing. Jeez. <laughs> orbital, <laughs> orbital rocks. That's called, screw you, I'm a Gorn. <laughs> exactly. All right, are we set here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm good to go. Let me just set this here. Oh. There. Advanced, okay, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, just double check. And you said counterpoint. Yes, because it gives turn marks, it gives the okay, metric inducer, didn't and work. it gives more double themes for everybody. Let's try so. that again. Here, corny, Flip. horny, corny. Wee woo. Wee -woo. Okay. Yeah, the first time I didn't like that. Here, corny, horny, corny, horny. I can't wait till I can fully upgrade my streaming setup. <laughs> yeah, for me, that's a while away. Well, I have to make I've my got, list of um, things I want to do when my business finally gets successful. Yeah. Well, like, right next to my streaming setup, mm -hmm. I've got our dog's... Like, when we adopted the dog, it, she came with two doggy beds. Once mm -hmm. it's upstairs in the living room, I brought one down here next to computer stuff to can curl up. And I want a doggy cam. Oh. Oh. For while I'm streaming. Yeah. And that way I can put, like, little alerts where if people do a certain number of beds or a very tiny donation. I give her a treat or something, oh. you know? Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, my dog would be so fat. She's already fat, but she'd be fatter. Well, it would also give me the incentive when I'm not streaming to actually go do long walks with her rather than letting her run around the backyard. You know? I I follow a streamer that actually, if you donate a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. you will grab the dog and put it on camera. Oh. No. Um, Kyle Dempster has his Louie cam, which is kind of where I got the idea, because his dog is always on camera. I, I and he's got things of, you know, I did this donation or I redeemed this number of points or whatever, and he pets the dog or feeds the dog or whatever. Like, the stream spoils the hell out of that dog. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think if I were to give it some uh, loving versus feeding her, it would be better. Right, but it, like from when he instituted it to now, the price of giving the healthy treats or whatever 
like food wise has increased because of the number of people that <laughs> Yeah, otherwise that's gonna be one round doggy. <laughs> Go spoil the hell out of doggy. But the merchant spent all that money on the treats too. Right, but I'm sure he did the basic math that says, Okay, this many treats. So like if I bought hey, feed Louie a treat, I might be paying for two and a half treats. And the dog only yeah. has one. You know? Like there's that kind of math to be included. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's a brilliant mechanic. Well, if I tried to put my dogs on camera, what you'd see is basically nothing because they'd be like, oh, we heard a bird. We heard a bird. We have to go get the bird. Here. Well, she's, yeah, she's getting a little older. She's pushing three now. And she's settled into the routine over the last handful of, uh, last several months. Because we got her in October. Aww. Um. She's settling into the different lifestyles that me and the girlfriend had. So when I'm down here at the computer, she's curled up either in the doggy bed or the cushy red chair I have behind it. Um, so she curled up within sight line of my computer desk and close enough that I could prop a webcam in the right position. <laughs> I just don't have the secondary webcam. I could steal Emily's webcam. She doesn't use it. Hmm. <laughs> you no, know, I gotta update the graphics card first. Cause yeah, I have, I have a lot of work to do first before I get another. Both. I do want to get a webcam. Trying to help Ed, but no, Ed's too good. Ed's too fast. I can't help him. Ed's doing dirty tricks. Now yes, I run is. out of tricks and start the regular pew pew. Um, one beacon of bright light. The first group, one Terran, uh, uh, one uh, Romulan reputation cloak for the second, and now it's back to conventional fighting. Whew. There's somebody... just the one over here on the left, Ed. Alright, somebody's gotta be doing the reps because you got four and five. Yep, we're doing them. Okay. Uh, I can't tell because this ship isn't maneuverable enough. Oh, I've got a Shran, which is actually a little too maneuverable for me. <laughs> I've never had that problem. I have a I Shran like and a stupid... Race. I stupidly Sorry. put an RCS on this thing, so it's just way too maneuverable. I feel like a NASCAR oh. driver at the moment. I'm just the making shrine. right turns all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Pi. I could not get that one. Oh, there's one over there. NASCAR drivers only make left turns. Yeah. Sure. You know, just He's European. It all goes the other way around, paper. remember? Well, that's true, too. Yeah, okay. Well, we actually drive on a track with different turns and not just going in a circle. Picky, picky. <laughs> well, there's like a dozen different racing circuits that can be done. I know, it was just teasing the NASCAR. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a sport that's easy to follow when you're hammered. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. <laughs> they're making a left turn. Oh, look! They're making a left turn. <laughs> And then I just sometimes love the, the sponsored names they give the cars, like natural, uh, narrow pads, whatever, something, <laughs> something, killer's <laughs> car. It's just amazing. We got eight portals there, folks. That's pretty darn good. That's good. Okay, so counterpoint is, um, what's her name? Lita, right? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Evil Lita. 
Evil shut up. Sure. Here comes Evil DS9. Shut there we go. Up. Repetitively. <laughs> hey, you know what we haven't done in a while, Ed? We haven't done <laughs> we haven't done a Badlands in a while. Yeah, maybe another Badlands excursion yeah. weekend. Yeah, might be. At fun. the moment, there is so much uh, so so much pre-made content. Uh. Well, starting this weekend, it's just. Um, Fully in red alert. Which, while yep. it's nice, it's kind of boring. Fully in red alert? Oh yeah, boy. Fully in red alert. Like the only rep I don't need. Yeah, but you can. When it's an event, can't you get multiple marks on it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah otherwise, I'd play it once on each tune and. I have plenty of Tholene marks. Because I'm smart enough to pick up those ground missions while I'm down there. And even if I don't finish it off that time, I'll finish it off the next time. I've actually even forgotten. How does the Tholene Red Alert work? Um, you've got to fight off... God, is it Borg at the very beginning? Is it uh, it's some Borg, which are more or less useless. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, just a fight down... Uh, Tholian battle groups and two uh, Tholian uh, big sh capital ships. Yeah, if you've got a good team, it can be really, really fast. Used to be really challenging. Yeah, the same with the Borg Red Alerts, right? Yeah. But I don't mind Borg Red yeah. Alerts just because. And then they released tier 6 ships and it was game over. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep ramping up the difficulty to make it fun. Right, but that also penalizes people who can't get tier 6 ships. Outside yeah, but you, of events. The thing is, yeah, I was gonna say, you can always get a tier 6 in an event. And they're not bad. I mean, they're not as good as ones you buy, but you can make anything work. Alright, but let's take the winner of that, for example, this class yeah. one. Yes. If I couldn't get a tier 6 ship, other than the event. And I don't fly carriers. Mm -hmm. The winter event does nothing. Bright me. light. You know, it's like, oh, I get a carrier. Um, yeah, but if you're doing the regular events, you also get T6 coupons, so you don't have to buy one. They're now, relatively easy to get. I mean, now, but... Well, yeah, but that's been for months. They've done a couple of giveaways. You know, where you can get stuff for a reasonable rate. Yeah. But, like, it, there was a good chunk of time when we had tier 6 <laughs> ships, and we didn't have stuff like the tier 6 coupon and things like that. Well, yeah, but... I have gotten, until recently, the only tier 6 I had was from the event. Everything else was a tier, uh, T5U. It wasn't it, as easy, but I did do to, it. To find recently. Um, I think my first tier six would be a year after T six came out, except for the prize ships, you know, the event ships. And the thing is, Ed's put out some interesting builds that I was able to copy for those tier six, even though that might not be my style of ship. Okay. Once you've got Do you that, feel the wrath of the Terran Empire? I feel the wrath of the Terran Empire. I am trembling. Oh, uh, it kind of tickles. Okay, I call <laughs> it six. Maybe we could get her to say to fear the wrath Swarmers. of the coronavirus? What could be more appropriate? Yeah, I picked up Plague Inc. recently, and I haven't had the heart to stream it. <laughs> I don't know it. Uh, the whole point of the game is to, is to eradicate the world with a pathogen or virus. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's not the best time. Right. <laughs> Dirty tricks. Now, they do have a scenario where you play as, like, vampires or the Planet of the Apes, you know, the Apes Uprising type scenario. That could be fun. Or a zombie apocalypse scenario. I think it would be interesting to have a game where you play as the virus. Well, I mean, that's kind of what you do. 
in most of the game. But that would be unfair given the current climate. You know, the current event climate. If I'm streaming something, it goes, oh hey, I'm this virus. I'm trying to wipe out humanity. Eh, it doesn't carry over very well. Yeah, it probably doesn't. So you're a kind of um, adversary at versus two. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. 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 But the thing is, viruses don't care. They're just there. Right, but streamers do care. This is true. Now, that being said, um, I think it was like five days ago, mm -hmm. mid-afternoon my time, which would have been early afternoon your time, there was somebody streaming this game that had 300-something viewers. Okay. And I'm like, really? With all the global pandemic stuff that's going on? That's getting this many viewers from a single channel. Yep. And there's like four dozen people playing it. It's like, oh. And that almost made me want to stream it just because, like, well, if it's doing this well, people don't really care that much. Maybe I can be politically incorrect for a little while. And you said. You said a single Star Trek online channel had 300 viewers. No, a single Plague Inc. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. that would be awesome. Um, I just jumped over to oh, chat God. for a moment, and Abdo was asking, how do you guys feel about theme builds? Oh, I love theme builds. I know Depends on the theme, I guess. Theme what? <clears throat> Can be the as uh, cool and as effective and as, uh, as any... Uh, beefed up build. Yeah. They can be fully comparable. Oh, yeah. In some way, it's really impressive to have somebody who goes to that <coughs> level of dedication and focus. I mean, As opposed yeah. to the, oh my god, I've got 30 ships left, I need to get them all leveled up on 11 tunes, just throw something on and level. Well, I mean, I've got 19 tunes, but... Yeah. I still got things like the Quacken and my Rising Corvette with 140k hold points. I love those Corvettes. I got killed. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Seen the last of me. seen the last of me. I am eternal. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> yeah, wrong one. That's the Borg. <laughs> I know. I had to have a little fun with that, though. Although I did startle my dog when Seven of Nine took over that ship in the car. That's pretty cool. And we have met all up Because I cheered at the TV loudly. <laughs> my dog. She just jumped her feet and went, wait, 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 what? My hey, dogs hey, are hey. used to it from my husband shouting at hockey games. I'm not a sports person, so I don't I don't have that regular cheer at the TV thing. <laughs> Nor I, but, you know, there's two of us here. We each have our things, of course. Right, I but they're used to it because who does sports thing? Right, exactly. Neither one of us do sports here. And we're both very introverted, kind of quiet people. You wouldn't know it based on my internet interactions, but yeah. Well, that's different. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, pie, I've got stuff like Trixie and Bubble Juice. I shall have to stash those for the winter event. All right, folks, it's been an hour, and I've kind of resolved to only do this for an hour in the morning so I can go do some work, work every day. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to call this a day for the moment. I will be back later, though I don't know if we're going to stream later. Are you planning to stream this afternoon or this evening? Probably. Okay. So somebody will be on. I will figure that one out. I'll either stream today and not tomorrow, or I'll stream tomorrow and not today. But I will be in the game. Just want to have some time to just play the game. Yeah, that one is a good one. So on behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium, thanks everybody who joined us today. I appreciate it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, drink your orange and juice. Stay awesome. Yes. Oh, I like that. Hashtag, hashtag stay the f home. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> I like the stay awesome one. Or as Hank Green always says, don't forget to be awesome. I like that. And then, and as Bob Ross would say, happy painting. <laughs> I don't think he'd say it anymore. No, I know. Okay. All right, everyone. Have a great day. We will talk to you later. Pi, do you want to send us off to something, or shall we just close it? Uh, I'll, I'll find someone. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Well, I'll put on our ending video. Fleet, Ad Fleet Admiral Jason. Play that fucking music. And Cal Tipping Mike. Okay. It's we raided him yesterday. Oh, did we? Which? Did we? No, we raided last yesterday. We raided, um... We raided Cow Chipping Mike. That was two days ago. That was Monday. Okay, Fleet Admiral Jason's still streaming. That, uh, nine years at the moment. So you would double the viewers. Wow. Ooh, that would be good. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. everybody. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> uh, okay.